welcome to the vlog. It's the weekend update. And tell us tales from the outside world. Stay in your house, people. There's, there's nuts out there right now. New York was just put down on lock put on put lockdown. Us down. <laughs> we were put on lockdown starting Sunday night. I've heard different stories. Like some say tomorrow night, some say Sunday. I, I don't know. I don't know, but you know what that means. No sexy Saturday. No sexy Saturday shopping date. Uh -huh. Um, because you went today. Okay, for well, a couple things. I know, but right, we'll just drive there and drive back. <laughs> no, I mean we could go for a drive. We won't have to get out of the car. Exactly. But I sent Maddie with Mark because I'm worried for her mental health. She's I'm been in. Fine. No, now you are, but I mean. No, she saw how crazy it was out there. Now she doesn't want to go out anymore. I would have No. It's just good to get out, even if you only went to the supermarket for five minutes. So this is all. <laughs> we've got kale, we've got lettuce, we have two rolls of toilet paper. Better hold it. Well, that's what the emodium is for. No! Everybody's starting to take that. No! <laughs> That would be really bad. Don't listen to Mark. Do not listen to Mark. <sighs> He's joking. Yeah. You got some frozen veg. Thank God, because they were out of it for like the longest time. Some uh, vegan cold cuts, some bread, and Mark, uh, according to Maddie, had to have the soft pretzels. For real? Yeah, I believe you. So that was the extent of the shopping haul, and now we have to pretend that we live in a bomb shelter and stay in the house for days, or maybe weeks. Months. I hope it's not months. Possibility. I really hope not. Oh, guys, I've been doing different things. Look, this is all new. <laughs> guys, I've been breathing. So, um... We got to have a new spot for the laptop, so now they're living up here. And I don't know how I feel about all this. We need something here. I just don't know if it's this. But um, I did clean. I did get rid of some dribs and drabs of food. This is a little different over here. That's all going to be eaten through. I'm planning on like eating all of our old food. This weekend? No. <laughs> In the next couple of weeks. Oh. Months. Maybe it might take that long, but we've got a lot of. Um... But guess who's essential? This guy. Yeah, you don't get to stay home. No. Don't get sick. I'll have to put my high heels on and go down there. That would not be cool. You know what? I'm pretty sure Mark's had it already anyway. We don't know for sure. But I really feel like you did. It's a possibility. And I as well. And if we're going to add somebody to the total, it's going to be Sean too. So Maddie was lucky to escape. As far as we know, you could have had it with no symptoms. Yeah, absolutely. Because you uh, said you had like an allergy thing going. Like you thought yep, some people you had like an uh, allergy runny nose type thing going on. No, or... no, I was just a little congested this morning. but I No, I mean like weeks ago. Remember we were having like allergy issues and then a bit, but... you could have had no symptoms. You could have been asymptomatic. So, you know, what's wrong? Market's down 800 points. Oh, great. <laughs> great. Ooh, look at this. This is going to be up on the Veganist Fork channel probably already. So if you're not subscribed over there, you didn't know unless you checked or we told you. So this is like a turkey slash vegan chicken tetrazzini. And what would you say? It's very good. Very creamy. Oh, thank you. And it's pretty healthy. It's fairly healthy. <laughs> There's no uh, processed oil in there. Mm -hmm. It's just um, hemp in the sauce. A little oat milk, some potato, some nooch. I uh, hope you guys go over there and check it out because 
if you're uh, at home <laughs> and you've got limited uh, supplies to cook with, this is something that you could probably whip up pretty pretty easily. So, um, and it's it tastes um, fancy-ish. Does it taste like a Sunday dinner? Yes. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh. Does that make you want to buy me things? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. This was supposed to be sexy Saturday and it was most definitely not. No. <laughs> so it's dinner time. Yes, I didn't film all day because guess what? All I did was housework. So now is the sexy portion of the show. Here you go. You're welcome. <laughs> am I right? Yes, I am. Okay. Look at that dinner, though. You got some vegan chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. Some vegan yellow rice with peas and mushrooms. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, dear. I was I, I know that. <laughs> Uh oh. Minnie. Minnie said you gotta get away from this. This is where they have the rice. <laughs> Don't even think about coming in this kitchen, brother. <laughs> this is my hungry voice. <laughs> Someone dripped a piece of rice on the floor. You better back up, B. Look at Minnie is working it hard. Yeah, Bowie's like, doing? what's going on over there? Is this a six piece nugget situation? It is. <laughs> Minnie said, six pieces? What? <laughs> Unheard of. Yeah. <laughs> no, she said, wonderful. <laughs> oh, nice. We're watching Miracle Workers right now. Which yeah. Is so I don't want that show to end either, and I and it better, better be renewed. Alright. Do we have any um, Brussels left from the other night or no? Yeah, don't we? I think so. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, lucky you. It's your lucky day, daughter. <laughs> How nice. For everyone who's wondering, and I know you are, Granny is fine. Yes. Kristen is fine. We are, like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I hope you are all, like, fine as well. Because this is some serious S. We're yeah. in some deep doo-doo. For real. Like, if you're supposed as a to be world. staying at home, take it Stay at home! Yeah. Jeez, Stay at home, spring breakers! Don't go out if you don't need to go out. I, I even saw that there was like a hashtag Corona party. People are dumb. I can't believe that. People are dumb. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner. Anyway, there's a lot of good people who are working to fight it. Yeah. All the healthcare workers and You know, it's not even them. It's... Let I mean, people working at grocery stores. Right, exactly. Mail. Yep. Delivery people, right restaurants oh. who are trying to stay afloat mm -hmm. even though that they can't open. Yep. Exactly, Sean. <laughs> exactly. I just want everybody to know if you're in one of those jobs who are essential, we appreciate you and thank you for everything that you're doing because it's not going unnoticed. Yeah, Mark said you're welcome because he's one of those people. It's true. So thank you. Sunday. Hello. <laughs> yes, we're out of the house. Tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, New York State is going on lockdown. So that means what? All non-essential non businesses are clo <laughs> or should be closed by law. Yeah, you know, that is a huge loophole though. What is a lot, essential? A lot of places are still essential. Somebody 
argue GameStop is essential. Yeah, GameStop, namely. Yeah. Because they say they have networking stuff also. It's not just games. And right. Help people work from home. Right. So, um, we're going out for one last um, trip to the outside. Oh, look at this nice solar farm over here. Uh -huh. How nice. It's brand new. It is brand new. It used to be a golf putting range, not a putting range, a uh, driving range. Driving range, yeah. Turned it into a solar farm. Um, I wonder if they're going to do that over here. I do not know. No, there are it's big several enough. in the area. Yes, there are. So, we're heading out to stock up on medication for the dogs because Lucy is almost out of her thyroid medication and they need their flea and tick preventative. And, oops, sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to bop you. Um, and we're just going to dash into, we're going to nip into the supermarket and pick up a few uh, essentials. It's almost good in a way, the way we've been shopping lately, because we've been um, eating a lot of the stuff that we had, like stockpiled before it goes bad. Yeah, we have, we have plenty to go through. We, and we haven't really been shopping very much at all, except for like fresh fruits and, and vegetables and um, stuff like, and bread. But I can make my oat milk, my own oat milk if I need to, which it might come down to that, but I was looking for flour to bake my own bread in case um, the supermarkets were to close. And the flour is all gone. I'm going to attempt to try and get some today. Apparently, again, but... Have that idea. Well, it's a great idea because, I mean, you got to go down this food chain supply and, you know, find out what you need to do in case the next step gets uh, messed up. Because it seems like we're on an ever tightening um, lockdown. You know, first it started with the schools were closed and then churches and then uh, certain businesses. Uh, and you had to have, what was it, 75%, 50% uh, of your employees and then it went to 75% then it's right. like everybody right. sure, essential. Right. So like, it's ever tightening. You don't know when that's going to stop. Well, I can't go much farther than this. Yeah. But I mean, they can't tell you not to leave your house. You're allowed no. to go out to go for walks. And you can do solitary activities, but you're not supposed to be meeting in any groups larger than 10. Except for the supermarket, of course, because and it's a supermarket. Hopefully the smart ones will be staggering. Um, I just missed my turn. Oh, that's all right. Staggering the um, amount of people that can go in at one time. Right. I think that's a good idea. I do too. And having special hours for seniors. Good special idea. lines for seniors, special even. Lines, yeah. yeah. But if you know any seniors, Maybe go, check, go check on them, go shopping for them, give them a phone call because they're lonely. Um, it's sad. I, a lot of lonely people. There is going to be a lot of lonely people. I have a lot of. I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of Corona babies too. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that too when I saw an article about that too. There's going to be a lot of, this is, this is going to be the new baby boom, I have a feeling, so that's weird. Strangely weird and ironic. Um, yeah, so I'll check back in with you guys when we get to the supermarket so we can both have a look at what's going on. Side of ShopRite and um, it was brisk, but not very many people, I mean... But people are still not paying any attention to the six foot distancing. No. They're just not. They were out of a lot of stuff, but oh darn it, that's what we were supposed to go back for. Mm. The flour. No. They had in the organic aisle a bag of flour for like twelve dollars and oh. I was like, mm, I don't think I need sprouted. Mm. Then we never went to the baking aisle because you said you don't need anything over here. And you said yes. Because I forgot. I, I forgot. <laughs> we did get a lot more than we thought we were going to get though. Only one package of chicken. They said only one per person. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yes. One package of chicken per person and some of the other but things were also limit of one. Tell me you made it killing though. 
apparently uh, there's not a lot of vegans around here yeah. so they had a lot of vegan stuff actually marked down not just on sale marked down yeah, the no evil stuff the no evil stuff which is supposed to be amazing we which haven't we, tried that yet right we haven't tried it because it was 7.99 and we got it for two dollars and ten cents a package mm -hmm. so we'll be trying the no evil line of products thank you very much <laughs> We also got some seltzer water to raise our spirits. We're simple people. What can I say? You don't like seltzer water, but yeah. I'm sure that won't make a difference to Maddie because she's just been drinking plain water out of the Berkey. So, um, cause we're just like too lazy to even use the soda stream right now, but at the price that it was, it's cheaper than the soda stream even, so. <sighs> That was draining and exhausting. Yeah. They have like these giant sneeze shields, like a salad bar too, up yeah, at the uh, checkout idea. register. I've heard of other places doing that. It is a great idea. Uh, they should have had it to begin with anyway. To the employees a little. And the people who are shopping there. Well, I think it's more for the employees. It's for both. Day. It's a mutual thing. Are you, you getting gas? Not here. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird driving around and seeing everything closed and not that many cars it hasn't even on the road. Started yet? Wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, tonight. Yeah, but most stores will be closed anyway. Yeah. So tomorrow's gonna be the real thing. But Read about kids. God forbid anything happens to the internet. That would be. Bad. That would be pandemonium if we, we do had have to go free through this. Books in the house. And didn't have the internet. O M. We would be okay, Sean. No. Well, no. you know what? You'd have to get used to it. At like, least it's not like when the power goes out. At least we have DVDs and stuff to watch. You know? Yeah. At least we have that. It, Sean gets really upset when the power goes out, More, and the internet, of course. But if we still had the power, that would be better than not having it. Oh. All right, I'll show you what we got. So this is what we got. Um, more than I thought we were going to get, but uh, I think we got some good stuff. The stores were out of a lot of things, but um, they did have a lot of the stuff that we normally buy anyway because we don't really buy meat except for the dogs. Got them a small package. There was a one package limit. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh my God, what if you have a bunch of dogs? right they didn't really have that much to choose from anyway i had to get like the store brand of the chicken uh is that organic actually it's the wholesome pantry oh it says all natural no antibiotics so they got some thighs last time they got legs because um mark says there's more k2 in there and uh <laughs> not that they need it but um also it was a little bit cheaper and for some reason, I guess because it's fattier, they really like the legs. Don't you? Oh, you're such a precious baby. It's gone. Well, gone. All right. So we we really this is seems like a lot, but this has to la This is pretty much like our sexy Saturday shopping plus the regular through the week shopping. So we got cereal, another Oatly. Uh, some Boca chicken patties, no frill. I call these no frills chicken patties because these are pretty much old school vegan chicken patties. Um, this is the no evil that they had. They had like twice as much as, maybe three times as much as I bought here. But um, I don't know how much room I have in the freezer. And I've resisted buying this in the past because I believe it's wheat based. But now that I'm back on uh, eating non-gluten free... <laughs> I can eat it. So I'm excited to see how this stuff is. It's supposed to be really good. It was only $2.10. It was 70% off. You could see why we weren't buying it in the past because a package that size was like $7.99. It was either $6.99 or $7.99. So crazy. So we got these to try. 
Got some staples here, some uh, asparagus, salad, bok choy. We're probably going to have some sort of stir fry for dinner tonight. Some daya, some coffee, pasta, a pineapple. You got to get that vitamin C in there. You don't want to get uh, scurvy <laughs> or rickets. I don't, is both of those from vitamins, lack of vitamin C? I know scurvy is. Scurvy, yeah, I don't know about rickets. Uh, D vitamin maybe? D? B. Oh, B? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So if, if anybody knows, leave it in the comments because I'm just freaking too lazy. I'm so exhausted right now. Too lazy to Google. <laughs> what? Too lazy to Google. Exactly. I'm too exhausted to even Google it or ask Google. Um, all right, so we got some vegetarian chili with beans. This is really good over a baked potato for a nice quick meal or over mashed potatoes. The dogs and uh, Mark are enjoying their kefir. Some uh, Ezekiel bread. This stuff's really good. It's sprouted. I think when you sprout it, it's so much more nutritional and it, I think it's easier for you to digest as well when it's sprouted like that. That we got the other day. We're going to eat that later some lotion and this is the new uh hellman's vegan dressing and spread this is different than the mayo i guess this probably has a little bit less fat in it it's 70 calories as opposed to like 100 and uh i think it's more vinegary it's like the difference back in the day if you guys remember miracle whip versus like um mayonnaise That's all we used to get. i know you when i when i first uh started uh, dating you when we were first married. Your mother would always only buy Miracle Whip. Oh, yeah. And I was like, what is this Miracle Whip? <laughs> it's so vinegary. I love it. So, um, yeah, that's when I was introduced to Miracle Whip because my family never bought that. So I think this, what I got, is more like the Miracle Whip that uh, you used to get. Mm -hmm. Hi, you guys made a mess in here. It's disgusting. We gotta clean oh. up. <laughs> oh, could he be any cuter? Look at him. Dad, we were so good. We want to go out. We want to go out, Dad. I want to bark at my friends on the through the fence over there. Put a mask on them. No, they don't need masks. She said, I'm going to lay down for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. I just got off the sofa and had a drink. <laughs> Taking every ounce of my strength just to do that. And of course we got seltzer because we're going to party like it's 1999 tonight. Because party's over at 8 o'clock. you got to be in your house. Oh, you're so filthy. Hang on. <laughs> Big Brother Canada is on in two minutes. And sorry, I was just eating bok choy. Like my freaking favoritest uh, veggie ever. Love the bok choy. We're having a stir fry tonight. We got some bok choy. We got some mushrooms. We got some uh, sweet onion. We got some of the um, uh, No Evil Comrade Chicken, I think it was called, or Comrade Cluck or something like that. It's okay. It's like seitan. It's, uh, it's pretty standard, I guess. But we also have some beautiful basmati rice over here. Um... I just saw Ringalinga <laughs> on uh, the computer. That means Big Brother's going to start in a couple minutes. Actually, it's only one minute now, so I got to get my bowl together because uh, it's already 8 o'clock and I want to eat dinner while I'm watching Big Brother. So I'm going to fill up my bowl. Hi. Oh. It's snowing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right, so we've got some business to take care of here mm -hmm. before we close out this vlog. First of um, all, excuse me, I don't want to trip. The and I'm, my nose is running. Sorry, 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 The Rosie O'Donnell show. Oh my God. Show, we didn't finish the whole thing yet. We're going to go back to it, but we saw at least like two hours because we had, yeah. well, whatever. We saw like two hours so far. It was amazing. So, so good. Oh my god, I loved it. Yes. And Darren Chris, oh my god, highlight of the entire thing. <laughs> so far. Yes. Uh, also, a big standout for me, Alan Menken. Holy yes. Crap, so many hits. 
What a gift. You know what? Thank I even enjoyed sharing. watching Stephen Sondheim wash his hands for 20 seconds. Of course. <laughs> birthday fun fact uh mark has been to steven sondheim's house that's pretty awesome right yep so yeah <laughs> for work yeah so that's pretty cool um, i know yeah so we're gonna enjoy the rest of that later but we have to give a birthday shout out we blew it yes i did. did not see this comment until after i posted the vlog on friday mm -hmm. so in addition to Rhonda Cates on Saturday, we have Teresa of happy Teresa birthday. and Sum Summer. Yes, happy birthday, Happy Teresa. birthday. I hope it was amazing. Yeah. I hope you had a great birthday weekend, even though the circumstances aren't so great right now. But best day, week, month, year. Hopefully a whole lifetime of wonderful birthdays. So, You're in good company this past weekend. Yes! I think your birthday is the same as Rosie O'Donnell's. Yeah, and then Andrew Lloyd Webber was also on Sunday. And Stephen Sondheim. Yeah, we said that, yeah. <laughs> did we? No. Yeah, we did. Did we? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I thought I said Stephen Sondheim was washing his hands. Yeah, but I thought I said it was just Oh, okay. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Have a pineapple. <laughs> I know, right? Isn't that crazy? Two yes. Broadway legends like that on the same day. I know. Well, there's only 365 possibilities, or 300. Is it 65? Yes. <laughs> Even when you add in the leap day? No. Okay, so there's 366 possibilities. <laughs> Eight days a week. I think it's time to say <laughs> goodbye. Yes. Did you want to take a little peek at the snow? Oh, look at Lucy sitting up like a person. Really? You are such a delicious little oh, freak. I love you. Oh, good girl, baby. Mm. Good boy. I love you. <laughs> Here's some snow for you in case you live somewhere warm and you would like to see some snow. <laughs> All of our plant babies are back in a new curation. In this window, anyway. The other window has uh, some different ones, too. And uh, my bedroom has a lot of... Which you won't see. Sorry. <laughs> he said, stamp the time card. Would you like a donut? No. I don't, I don't need donuts like for breakfast. Donut? Get that oh, thing out of my face. What a good girl. So you should know better by now. No donut? No. You are so... Precious. Look at her. <laughs> Look at the legs on the bottom. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's Ready? all you get. That's it. Catch it. Oh, oh it's your fault. Okay, good boy. <laughs> He's actually very good. He's very good at catching, especially food. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope you're staying safe. Now you do that. <laughs> I hope you're staying well, and I hope you're staying sane. That's probably the most important one. Have a great Monday, or whenever you're watching this. And until next time, much love.